Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to the Origami Butterfly by Koda Amai Collapse Tutorial. So, here is what one wing of the butterfly looks like. This is something, a test fold sort of thing I made. And this is the crease pattern. You can find the crease pattern on his Instagram page. And this is the model, the paper that I prepared. So this is double tissue paper. And it is about 17 by 17 inches. So this is what I'm going to be folding the butterfly with. So we can get into the tutorial. What I think we'll start by doing is coming along the top here. Along this top part and collapsing this top first. Then both sides at the same time along the edges all the way down. So that's the plan. And we can go ahead and start. So this is oriented this way. And first what we're gonna do is go right here and I'm gonna find these creases and make them valley folds. Kinda like that. like that so that these can tuck underneath here. That's what we're gonna start by doing. And then we're gonna make this, and for now we're just gonna make this a mountain, like that. We'll work on that a little bit later. And then continue up here, so that's what we should have. And do the same thing right here. like this. Now I'm gonna, since we have this point here, I'm gonna pull and kind of fold the paper in half like this, just so we can start to collapse it a little easier. And I'm gonna collapse, uh, make this point here and collapse this cube. And this should come back up. Like this. And just press this flat like that. So that's the cube and what that should look like is this, just kind of what we have getting started like that. And now what we're gonna do is right here, we'll see these creases. We're gonna take a mountain on the middle creases like this and continue to press that in so that the valleys are like that. And then we're gonna make this mountain fold on this side right here and then collapse these valleys. And while we do that, we're gonna take this edge, it goes to that point and fold it over along this crease, like this. You can see on the bottom. Like that. Just making that crease and fold back over and then just start to try to collapse this and then there should be a valley that comes right here and you can make that make it on the bottom So now we can get into what happens at this corner. At this corner, what we're gonna do is press this down like this and make 
that crease right there. And then this part is going to come up. Like that. And fold over. And now this pocket will fold over like this and like that. So this is what that does. It goes like that kind of. And you can fold this over like that. So that's what this corner should look like. Something like that. And then we're gonna follow it with this valley under here. So, that's right there, like that, and then we're going to make this valley along here on the bottom, and press up with this mountain, so it kind of translates to these creases right there. And then make this crease along the bottom. like that and then you can wrap this around make this point you're down and kind of just press this into place And you can get prepared for this when it folds over. It's going to fold over on that crease like that. Right there. So these can both fold in. Kind of like that. So that's what we have. And we can continue this here a little bit. But you should see that right around here, this goes into a mountain fold here that gets tucked up underneath. So we'll pinch this. And fold this bit underneath like that. And if you turn it over, you should see this mountain fold come all the way along like that. And sort of come into this crease. Should look like that. Right there. So now what we're gonna do we're gonna work on these creases. We're gonna press this up and make this fold that was on here. And then it should go on to this right there. So once you have something like that, we're gonna press this point we have right here, we're gonna press it down in like that and then fold over along this crease here. And on this point, we gotta make another crease. Well, first I'm gonna reverse that out. And first we gotta make this. 
So you should see we have this here. We're gonna fold this edge over along what we should have pre-creased here. Like that. And if you turn it over, you can see it's this crease right here. Like that. So now we need to make this mountain fold right here. And we're going to take this so that it folds over like that. Just kind of swivel that over like this and then fold this edge up on this crease. Just fold it up like that. So now these creases should really just start to fall in place. This should go there. Like that. And now we can work on this point since we have this all collapsed. And what we're gonna do here is on this point, we're gonna fold this edge over like this and then push the point down in there like that. So once you have this, I'm just gonna make this mountain fold for right now that comes right through there. And then we can fold this over like that. And we're gonna press the point inside right in there, but it's gotta go, you can see we have these creases there, it's gotta go along there. So we're gonna fold this over, make sure those are really well held together, and just press it in, and make this mountain fold underneath it. So we should have something that looks like this. So now we should have something like that. And you'll see we have to do some more creases right here. So we're gonna make this, these folds like that, and then this should collapse over like that. And then we'll fold over on this crease here. And these should meet at the middle. And if you turn it over, you should see that. Like that. Now I'm gonna fold this edge over like that. Just right there. So that's what the bottom should look like. And increase this.
like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it back over and we're gonna collapse this same thing on the other side, right here. So we're just doing this, what we have right here on this side. So we're gonna start again with making these mountain folds. Press that in. So make those folds like that. And now we're gonna make these cleats over. like that and then fold that over like that on these creases now press this out just there and collapse this like this. Just like that. So that is that corner. And now fold this over and we're gonna press this down there. And fold this down to make these creases. Still press this under. like that. So now I'm going to take, like we did last time, take this edge and fold it under along this crease.
parse that down. All right, so I folded this edge up and then fold it over and lock it in by doing that. So now turn it over and we can do the, let's see, we can press this point up like this. And we still need to make the creases to the corner. So we can take this and fold it over like that. Along there. Like that. And get ready to fold that over. And then make this mountain here. And this. do that and then we can fold this flap up So that's what the end should look like. Now we'll fold this over and press this point. We're gonna get it to go down along those two creases. So press this point in like that. And that's what it should look like right there. Now if you turn it over, You can see this. And how this folds over. Like that. And right here we can just take this and fold this over. Like this and make that crease that goes down in there. like that. Now we can take this edge and make these creases like that. And take this edge. This can extend a little bit. Like that. And fold this over to the center. And if we turn it over to this side, you can see what that should look like. And right here, what I'm gonna do is pull this out and make this crease all the way up to there. Do the same right here. So that should look kinda like that. And now right here, make these creases like that just there and take this and press this down along that crease and it should look something like that and then fold down on that crease like that and if you turn it over it should kind of lock behind there like that Now I'm just neatening up these creases and fold this over.
So that's what this should look like. That's what it looks like on the other side. All right, so once you have this, you can turn it over. And we're gonna continue down the middle of the butterfly. So I'm gonna make this here. And this is what we have so far, like this. Now we're gonna open it up. Here, I'm gonna do this side now. We're gonna open this up and make that crease continue down a little bit. So open this. Like that. And now, right here, on this, it's gonna go back up one, like that. But this point is gonna make, there's gonna be a fold right there. And then a diagonal that goes right through there. So we're gonna make those creases. Just like that. So that's what it looks like on both sides. And then right here you can make this mountain fold. And this will continue down like this. And then you can start right under here. There's this crease you can make like that. And then you can make a mountain fold that'll swivel this over. So we're gonna start on this. So the plan right here is this is gonna go like this, but this point's gonna get pressed in like that. And then this is going to fold up. This will all make sense in a moment. If you turn this over. Right here. We're going to flip it over. But first we're going to make this point go in like this. And start to make this fold come up, down and over. So when we flip it over you should see this that's right here in this crease so those should go right like that and fold over and then right here we're going to take this point and so this is the shape right here. We're gonna make mountain folds around it. Like this. Then this is gonna be a valley that comes down. Like that. So this is what this will look like. Like that. And then we're gonna start to take this and kind of close it down on those creases in there. And then this will kind of swivel like that. 
a little bit and if we turn it over you should see it's going to start to collapse into place but we're going to leave that for a moment and work on this part up here so what we're doing right here is basically this part we're going to make another set of creases on the back and they're going to look like this so it's the, this crease we're making this diamond we had down there like that and then these creases make the mountain folds like that so then this is the shape we have right there and if we turn it over you should see it's right there it should collapse kind of like that right there then you can pop up this next row like this like that and now fold up so it should look kind of like that for now so now what I did here was I just kind of made these creases so that it'll kind of start to fold down like this fold together And what we're gonna do here is make a mountain fold right like this to where this part comes out. And then turn it over. And this is gonna be a mountain fold. And while this swivels, and kind of locks down in place. Like that. So that's what it should look like and it kind of it swivels like that in place. So now I'm going to continue that crease down for a little bit. Not too much. Just like that. And then these. With these creases can come. That will fold down. Like that. And that is what that side should look like. So now we've done this part. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And so we gotta make these creases again, like this.
then right here, we're just gonna collapse this in. Like that, and fold this down. Right there. I'm gonna continue this top part out a little bit. this so that's kind of what it looks like now we're going to turn it over and press this up and find this shape And now press this over. And find this. And fold over on this crease like that. And this folds up. So we kind of have this now, just like the other side. And now we're just going to find these same creases. like that and now make this fold to here and once we have this now we make this mountain fold like this and now we just swivel this over there like that so that is this part of the butterfly collapsed. Now we're gonna work on the corners a little bit more. So I'm gonna start on this corner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and this is gonna fold over like this. And it's gonna fold over on those three units like that. And then we're gonna make these mountain folds. So first make there's a long valley fold going through here. Diagonal like that. You can turn it over and make it so that's a little bit easier. And now we can make this mountain fold that goes right here. All right, so once we have these, what we can do is I'm just gonna make this here like that to kind of lock that off. And what we're gonna do is make these creases here. So this, these folds will go like that. And if we make these correctly, 
they can just slide in between the layers like this and if this folds up you can see that it looks kind of like that. So there's a corner collapsed. And now we can do this and make this shape that was in here. So this will be easier if you turn it over. And just make these creases. And then you can continue to scroll down there. like that and that's what it should look like on that side so now we have this right here and oh wait well actually this is gonna um instead of going in that pocket like that we're gonna open this up and this is gonna make a crease all the way down like that and just keep this open for now. And what we're going to do now is make a, this mountain fold. So fold this corner behind a little more. And make this mountain fold right here. It'll go, that'll just stay tucked behind there. And it'll hit the crease perfectly. Like that. And now you can start to make this. Alright, so now we're going to make a mountain fold on this second crease, like this, and that should come through, and this just stays behind there, and that'll hit that crease perfectly. So, for now, we're going to make this fold like that, and then we're going to fold this edge up like this and I'm just gonna that and make that crease just like that and now this is gonna start to collapse like this and we'll fold this edge over and it will go like that It'll fold over like that. Right there. And then it'll do the same thing right here. We're gonna make this pleat just like that. And fold that over. So there is that part, and that's the corner and the bottom collapsed, and it should look like that. So now we're going to do that on the other side. So we're going to take this, open it up, and make this valley fold here. Like that. And now we're going to get these creases into position like that those and then this and this will fold up along with that but first we can make this like that 
go down and turn it over to check and make sure that's there. So we made those creases. So like that, and now right here, we're gonna find this long crease and make it a valley. So on the other side, find it. I think it's right here, yep. So find it, and it should get at this point. And then this should collapse like that. And then if you turn it over, you should find the mountain fold that goes along with it. And then just make these creases like that. And then crease that. So now what you can do is Now we can make this mountain fold. It comes down this way. And take this and fold it over. Fold it over like that, and then this will just stay under like that. And now these pleats can go into position. So this will go up and then down like that. And then this will do the same thing. So that's what this should look like right there. Now we can continue and go on, and we're going to make these creases right here and that crease and start to go onto there. So what we're going to do here is you've got to open it up a little bit, and you'll see this mountain fold. We're going to open that up. And bring this mountain fold up to the top here. Like that. And then bring this down. This crease down. Like that. So it should kind of go up into there. But not all the way. Just like that. So now... If we go back down here and we go to here what you can what we can do for now is make this fold here like that and that'll kind of lay on top of this fold right there and then this can fold up like that, so that's kind of what we're doing right now. Fold that up, like this. And this will start to wrap around. I'm gonna turn this over, like that. So this is what this will do. And then this will start to wrap around that corner like that. So that's what we have. It'll go like that. And 
just there. So now this kind of wraps around there. This goes in there like that. Then this is a massive valley fold. It kind of just wraps around that whole thing like that. But we still have some creases to do in here. So first we're gonna make this go up to there and make the just like that to start. And now we're gonna make this mountain and open it up, kind of, kind of like this. And then this will come up to make another mountain. So this is kind of what we have right now. Like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this point outwards on the back, like this. And then right here, we have this folded kind of like that. And what will happen is this, and this is gonna come right there like that. And now we're gonna press this point down and make this long crease a valley fold. So first I'm just gonna go behind make this crease the valley like that and now you can see this will go like that and you can make this little fold that was added in the crease pattern right there And fold this down like that so now we're kind of going to pivot this edge over like that and I'm just going to make this a mountain fold over for now and make these valleys here like that and it should kind of fold like that and you can see right here this is what should happen this should go there and then swivel up like that through all those layers right there So this is kind of what it should look like with these starting to come in place like that. So this is kind of what it would look like. This isn't going to be able to lie flat yet. We still got to do some more, but we're going to just do this on the other side real quick. So what we did was we found all these creases here and we're going to make this come out like this and go up then do the same thing here this is going to fold up like that right there and on the back you can see where these creases go So this is going to kind of wrap around like that. So like this. So now we're going to make this valley fold down to there and make this mountain fold that kind of comes across like that. And now this is going to be the start of a mountain fold or a valley fold, I guess, like that. And this will pivot right there.
like that. And so that's kind of what we have now. And what we're gonna do now is bring this over and make that right there and press this point down. So then on the other side, we'll reverse, make this a valley fold. Then we can make this crease right in there. Like that. And you can see we have this here. We'll go like that, it'll be those two valleys that go in, and then that will be a mountain fold on the other side. If you turn it over, this is what it should look like. Now right here, we're gonna make this point that comes in like that and then makes this mountain fold and folds this under just like that and then this will fold over like this to make that shape that was on the other side just like that and then you can just start to make these creases that come into here like that And this is what that should look like right there. So now we can work on these creases in here. So if you open this up, this is what we're looking at. So first I'm gonna start on this side right here. And the first crease we're gonna make is this. Right there along there. And this should go in like that. And if you open this up at the back, like this, you can see we make this diagonal fold like that. And then this folds up. We make this crease along there. Like that. And then this will fold in and across this part like that. So that's what this should look like, kind of like a sort of triangle thing. And that's how that should collapse right in there.
once you have this, we can start to make these creases in here. And that'll just collapse. It should look something kind of like that. And these will collapse in like that. Right there. And now I'm just going to open it up and do the same thing on this side. So... And you can start to make these mountain folds. We're not gonna use them, like right here and right here. We're not gonna use them, but they're good for just temporarily collapsing this part like this. So now we're gonna make this go up to here, like that. Just go up in there. And this will fold out like that. Right there. And then we can collapse this part in. on these creases. And you can see when this goes here, it'll want to fold over on this. there so this will have the space like that and you can just kind of make that crease you don't need to pleat it but yeah and just continue reinforcing these creases once you have this collapse it should look something like this like that and what I did is I just hooked this over and then extended this bottom part a little bit so that now what we can do is right here we can fold this part over like that just fold over on these bottom parts like that and this will fold up and this is what it should look like Just kind of like this. Like that. And this is, that's, this is part of the butterfly. I think the abdomen. And that is kind of what that looks like. So now, we have this folded over like this, and that's kind of what it should look like for now, just like that. All right, so now we have this right here, and now we're going to continue on. So this is what it looks like right now. We have this all folded into position. So now we're going to start 
really the um, finish, the ending of it. So it's basically this, and this is pretty straightforward. It's just collapsing this, which is more straightforward than all the layers we have to put on top of each other for this. Like this part's pretty complicated, but this is fairly straightforward. So what we're gonna start by doing is I'm just gonna start up here and just work this down and make these creases. Like this. I'm gonna turn it over and get some of these creases better. we're gonna press this down and when this part comes up it's gonna come up for three whole units as a full mountain fold instead of going up and down so like this it's gonna look something like that and then this will continue on down So it should kind of look like this here. Like that. So this is that. And now we can work on this stretch right here. So we're gonna do this and then make this shape right here. So just turn it over and make these all mountain folds. I'm gonna make this mountain fold. Like this, so now we should have this point up and then we're gonna wrap it underneath. So make this mountain fold, and this comes underneath like that. Just tucks under there. And then we can make this fold over, and then this will just be a mountain fold. So if you turn it over and look at it, should look like this. Like that. And then this comes down. So this is what we have now like this and this just wraps over top of that so now we're gonna make this mountain fold under here and then this is gonna be a mountain fold along the edge like that
can fold this down and now we're gonna fold up along this crease just like that so that's what we have there now we're gonna make a mountain fold right here along this line and then a valley fold here like that and then this should push this over onto here and collapse this so what we kind of have is that and this is pressing down into there and this is going to come up to here and collapse this. And what I'm going to do for the top is start to put these creases in place. like that. And yeah, so that's basically what I did right there. Now this will come over like that. And now we get to do this part. This is just going to pleat over like this and just fold down like that so now we can start to make these creases along the sides like this like that so this is what we're going for and then this edge will collapse in there with this coming around here like that So this is what that should look like. And then right here, this kind of folds up. So it's gonna fold down, but later. So now we're gonna work on this part here underneath. So what we gotta do first is find this square right there. And we're going to make it all, turn it over. We're going to find it and make it all on this side mountain folds. Like that. And then turn it over. And you can kind of see it in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this edge like this and bring this all the way down and this should kind of fold down on it like that and now it's going to go through this and fold over along the crease under there
So if you turn it over, this is what it should look like. Kind of like that. So it should be something like that. Now we're going to take this over here and just press this up like this and you can start to make that that's going to be a valley over there so i'm just going to make this crease down to there so that's what it's going to end up being but now what we're going to do is just continue here so this will that's a mountain that's going to fold over all right so now we're going to take all these layers that we have right here we're going to take this and make this kind of little flattened part out of it. And then we're going to take this and make a mountain fold behind all of these. Like that. And a valley fold down there. So that when this starts to collapse like that, as you can see, this just tucks nicely in there. Like that. So now we can continue downwards. So what we're going to do is swivel this over like that right over here and swivel this so that's what that needs to look like when you swivel those all together and you can see this will just kind of naturally form over here. But you'll have to reverse fold this edge in to get this where it's supposed to be. Right over there. And that'll fold into position. So now it's all coming together like this. And we can just continue like this. I'm going to jump down here and work on this part now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these creases and fold this up and like that. There's gonna be a valley fold there and then this is gonna be a valley fold too. Right along here. Like that. And now we're going to take this, it's going to swivel over and fold it over like that. So just kind of get that in position. Now this edge, we're going to push this corner in. Like this and fold it over. Right in there. And now this edge right here is going to fold over like that. So that's what we should have right there. Something that looks like that. Now with this back corner, we can make this mountain fold and press this corner down. Because that's going to be a valley fold right there. Like that. And that's kind of how it should go together. Like this. and press that in there. So if you turn it over, it should look like this. Like that. And that's kind of how this will go. And now on the back side, turn this over 
and this will lay flat just like that right there now lastly we're going to put press this corner in and reverse fold and make this crease and this crease right here so this one goes all the way to the corner like that and that this folds in like that and then this folds over here now just take this corner and fold it down along that crease so that's what it should look like right there Like that now we just need to get these creases in position so what we're gonna do for this side I'm gonna rotate it and we have this right here so what we'll do here is take this and press this point under like that and if you turn it over you should see we have this crease and this crease so that it folds over like that. So that is how that should look, right there. Now if we turn it back over, you can see we just have this left. And what we're gonna do for this is find these creases right there. You should see, it's like that. And then this will just collapse in like that right there and then we're going to reverse this in like that and then flatten that so that is that half of the butterfly complete so it should look like this Like that. So there it is. Now we just need to do that on the other side. Right here. So, to do this, I'm going to turn it back over. And we're going to do just the same thing. We're going to make these creases here. like this and then over here and start to collapse this just like we did on the other side And then this mountain fold will go down for a pretty long ways. So you can add that and then pinch this in.
so that should kind of collapse in like this. Now we're going to do what we did over there. And make these creases. Like this. Except this continues for a long time. That's three wide. And then right here, this folds over. Like that. So this continues. Like that. And then we're going to take this and press this out. Press that corner down like that. And if you turn it over, you should see this shape like that and fold it in half right there in this edge will fold over like this and then you can find this edge over here so that's kind of what this will look like and now we can make this mountain fold here and this valley fold like that and then this will continue over underneath it looks like this So now, you can see we have this, and we're going to fold over on this point, like that. And this will kind of collapse in. So this is what we have for that. Right there. And now I'm going to go on the bottom. And make this area. Then press this in. right here so this is kind of what we have now just making these creases and now this will go down so now we kind of just did this i made a valley fold along here and then i started this mountain fold to fold that over like that and for now that would kind of just stay in there a little bit like that because this 
forward has to come up. Like this, kind of. So now we're going to go back and work on that square in there. So I'm going to turn it over and make the folds around the square. like this. That's kind of what it should look like. So now make the square and make this crease along here and fold it over like that. It should look like this on the back. All right, so this is what it should look like on the back. And then on the other side, it should start to collapse like that. Now, if we fold this down, we're gonna take this point and press it up. like this right there now we're going to have this come over here and come over this part so that this will lie flat. Just tuck up under there. Like that. Now turn over and you can see what it looks like. just right there. So if you turn it over, uh, you should see we can start to collapse these creases. And now we can just continue working our way down here. So this is going to be a mountain fold. We're going to press this in. make this like that and then we're just going to tuck it under like that. So now we're going to make this mountain fold here and open this up like this to press this down. Like that. This is what it should look like. Then fold this corner over. Then on the back, you can open this, and this should just spread like that. Right there. Then, if you turn it back over, we can make these last couple of creases. So what we're going to do now is find this edge right here and then make this press that in and fold this over
like that. Right there. And then this will fold into there like that. Right there. We can have that. And now this very last part is just right here and it will wrap over like this if you turn it over like that. So now that should collapse like this. And now you can press this down, fully, like that. And that is the full butterfly collapsed. Just like this. And you can fold the head up. Like that. And that's going to be the head. These are the wings, and then this is the abdomen. Like that. So that is the butterfly. Fully collapsed like this. From now on, you can look at the official pictures on Kota Amai's um, Instagram page and see how to shape it. And you will have the finished model then. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already so that you do not miss the next tutorial and see you in the next video.